Hey guys, I have been keeping a secret from you and today we are chilling on my bedroom floor because I want to talk to you about my experience with doing No Shave November. <laughs> um, for the entire month of November, I have not shaved. I have been keeping this a secret and I want to share with you how I feel, what I've learned, now that it's December, um, what I'm gonna be doing and just kind of talk about this entire experience because I feel like, especially feminine body hair, it's something that we don't talk about, it's something that we don't do, it's something that we don't discuss, but at the same time, this is a part of our bodies. And I have to preface this by saying, this is not the first time I've done this. There is actually a video that lurks on the internet of me ripping my armpit hair out. So the tighter you pull, the less painful it's going to be. <laughs> and somehow it got like a couple million views and I'm just like, I got armpit number one, nice, and then armpit number two. <gasps> Why? <laughs> I think it's alive, it's staring at me. It's not staring at you, it don't have eyes, it's just hair. Two, I'm sorry, two or three years ago, um, I actually decided not to shave. What had happened is that I just got sick and tired of it. Whenever I shave, I always get razor burn and bumps because I have naturally very curly hair. It tends to curl up underneath my skin, which causes these big bumps that look like acne, but they're actually like shaving blisters or razor burn um, and ingrown hairs. And it was a couple years ago, I actually filmed a video on it that I never posted, which I'm going to include footage of in this video. Does this disgust you? Does this offend you? But I just didn't shave my armpits. And then my friend, who also didn't shave her armpits, was like, hey, do you want to dye them purple? And I was like, what? And then the other friend that we were with, he was like, yeah, I want to dye my armpit hair purple. So we all dyed our armpit hair purple at like four in the morning. And it was around December as well. Now, I ended up shaving my armpit hair off. I had it on for like five months and I filmed a video that I just simply never posted because I think I was afraid of what people were going to say. And since then, I kind of shaved regularly, but again, shaving is something that really bothers me. Number one, it's a huge waste of my time. Number two, it costs a lot of freaking money. Number three, I have darker hair. So the second that I shave, it starts to grow back and you can see stubble. And although I normally shave like once or twice a week, just so that it doesn't get like long, for the month of December, I decided I'm not gonna shave my legs, I'm not gonna shave my armpits, and I'm just gonna see what happens and tell you about this experience. And you know, just kind of open up the discussions. These are my legs and you can even see some of the bumps from like old razor burns and razor cuts that just never healed. So frustrating. And these are my armpits. And honestly, they're not as long as I thought they were gonna be. In a month, I thought they'd be a lot longer, but hmm? oh well. No Shave November does have me wondering why the hair on my head doesn't grow this quick though. It's kind of frustrating, like, grow. Somebody that I really respect online named Elise, she runs Raw Alignment, she did a video, I think a year ago, about her not shaving her armpits. I came across it like August of this year, and she stated a statistic that says that girls and women spend like 65 or 66 days of their lives shaving. And I mean, if you shave every single day, and if you're OCD like me, where you have to get every single hair, I'm sure it takes even longer. And to think that we spend that much of our time and our money removing hair off of our bodies that wants to grow there, it's just ridiculous. And if that's something that you enjoy, if that's something that you do to feel sexy or something, fine. But in my case, shaving takes up time, money, it causes problems such as cuts and razor burn. And on top of that, it doesn't really make me feel any sexier. Nobody's judging my legs. And those who I would want to date wouldn't judge my hairy legs or armpits anyways. I was with someone um, two years ago who didn't care that I had hairy purple armpits, and that was great. Now when it comes down to it, do they smell more? I honestly don't think so. That being said, I am a vegan. I have noticed that if I eat more processed foods that I do tend to stink a little bit more. But at the same time, regardless of whether or not I have armpit hair, 
you know, sweating happens. Do I sweat more excessively with it? Not really. And honestly, if it's something that makes you happy, then go ahead and do it. But I realized that for so many years, I've just been shaving because it's societally appropriate or it's because I'm what, what I'm told to do. And again, if I, I mean, I went all of November without shaving. If I had a choice, I would probably, I'd probably shave once a week. That way, you know, it doesn't get like long, but I'm not wasting my time in the shower trying to like attack. And also if you have OCD or if you have a tendency where everything needs to be a certain way, um, it can be a big waste of time and actually very anxiety inducing and very stress inducing if you like miss a spot. And so like just letting it grow seems to do better. And um, you know, this is my hairy leg. This is what it is. So I want to talk about how this experience has made me feel. Again, I've done this a couple times before in the past just because. But the way I feel right now is just like, F it. Why does somebody else's societal opinion matter from me, for me? And also, people don't really notice. I mean, it's winter right now, so it's not ridiculously hot like in the summer. I'm wearing t-shirts anyways. I'm usually not wearing tank tops. Nobody freaking notices. And it's just like, it's, it's put me at this point of observing everyone else around me. I'm like, I've never looked at somebody else's armpit hair. Like, I've never judged somebody else. And if I did, like, why? And I think that the biggest, most profound thing is that, you know, I recognize that men don't shave and don't have to shave. And this is weird, and this probably comes from a very uh, strange place, but having armpit hair in a very strange way almost makes me feel equal. And I have a hard time saying that because it sounds really awful because I should feel equal without armpit hair. And I recognize that this probably comes from an emotionally unstable place that I've been in the past. Um, when I was a teenager, something really negative happened to me and I attributed that um, to being attractive. And there was actually a time in my life where I tried to be unattractive because I felt that it was putting me in those situations. Now, thank God I've gotten over that. I've healed a lot uh, from those things that happened to me. But when it comes to armpit hair, I've never felt, I, I mean, I know that I'm equal to men. I know that people are equal regardless of their gender or sexuality identity. But at the same time, there are times where men almost assume they have the upper hand over me in business because I'm a girl. Or men just have, like, they assume they have the upper hand over me. Or they don't take me seriously. When I talk about relationships or certain things like that that usually fall into gender roles, like business, etc. And I know it's strange and it's this psychologically skewed thing that doesn't even matter, but like having armpit hair, it's like, no. Like, what do you mean, bro? Like, I can be just like you. Like, look, I can do what you do as well. Um, which has never actually come to play in real life, but like, that's how I feel. And so it's kind of strange that this makes me feel equal, um, but it makes me feel like one of the bros. Like, no, I can have a conversation with you. No, we're on equal playing ground. No, you're gonna take my relationships and my business and my opinions seriously. Um, because I feel like there are some times that because I'm a girl that isn't taken seriously. Which is odd because I know that I'm equal. I know that I am not better nor worse than these other people. None of us are better or worse. We all make decisions and we all make choices and mistakes and really good decisions for ourselves and we grow from that. And I don't judge other people on theirs and I expect them not to judge me on mine. But sometimes people do. And so it really is strange but like I guess that's maybe like one of the positive things that comes from this that kind of uncovers maybe something negative that I had in the back of my head that if I just keep it quiet, it isn't gonna do any good. So I might as well just bring it out into the open and address it and see if anyone else has ever felt that way or if I'm just psycho. Um, but at least that, you know, presents it so that it's something that I can work on if it is a problem for me. But this is No Shave November. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm really indifferent and that feels really good not to care not to recognize that other people really don't notice me and to recognize that if I feel insecure or something, okay, I'll like wear a longer dress or something. Like, why does it matter? And shaving doesn't bring me happiness. It's a chore. It's annoying. It's something that I feel like I have to do. So I guess I'm coming to this point where like, why do I have to do it? So next, I have not seen this footage at all for over a year. Uh, of two years since I filmed, two years since I filmed this footage. So I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna insert it here. Um, and this is from the time that I had purple armpit hair. Hi, so for 
for today's video, I have a very exciting announcement. I hit puberty. Oh, I'm growing hair in all the strangest places, and I just, I just grew up, and I'm an adult now. Um, today, I want to talk to you about becoming a trucker, because apparently, because I have purple armpit hair, that means I'm a trucker. Um, I actually want to talk to you about being a feminist activist, because the fact that I grew out my armpit hair and kind of dyed it purple must mean that I hate all guys and that I'm gonna go run around with a sign and be super politically incorrect or politically correct and like crazy and like tell you about why periods are so liberating to have, especially because I have two of them. No, I'm just kidding. Because I have purple armpit hair and I've grown up my armpit hair, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I have it. Um, because it kind of happened on accident and I feel like there's a lot of societal things going on currently that I can really relate and reflect about and also that I don't agree with. Um, and I just feel like it's really important because I am in control of my body and I should have a choice of what to do. And do you think this is disgusting? Does this disgust you? Does this offend you? As some of my friends would say. Um, because at the same time, like there's, and I feel so self-conscious. And again, why am I feeling self-conscious? As a woman, I'm expected to be sexually objectified and like show off my boobies. But at the same time, I'm also expected to be modest and humble. And so therefore I'm not supposed to be overtly sexual because I'm supposed to play this, um, you know, this role of being feminine and docile, etc., etc., uh, and just all of these gender stereotypes that have really been getting to me recently. Um, International Women's Day was a little bit ago, and it really prompted this post. I opened up in that post about some things that have happened to me and some things that have gone through in my life that I've never really spoken about. If you're interested in that post, I will link it to you. Um, but I talked about some things that I feel are relevant because for so many years of my life, I have put myself into a box where I'm like, okay. I'm a woman, this is what I should do, this is what I'm expected to do, this is what I'm going to do, and it just, it hasn't made me happy or fulfilled. And so, a lot of things in my life have really stemmed from that, and I have acted positively and negatively from that, but I've also grown from that. So even though, like, people ask me, do you have regrets? And I'm like, well, I don't really have regrets because I learned from them. Which is a really hard place um, to learn from, but at the same time, a very liberating thing to be able to walk away with. Um, anyways, so purple armpits, yes, they were purple, now they're not so purple anymore. Um, so what happened is that I also did a speech last year in August at the YouTube space in Washington DC, and I spoke about YouTube and about blogging and also about women's rights. And in Washington DC, I sat and got to speak on a panel, but I also listened to a lot of nonprofits talk about what they did. Um, and one of those nonprofits was female empowerment, and just their whole speech and about gender equality and about what's going on in the world currently and how things are changing really inspired me. Um, when I remember early August is when I just kind of was like, I'm too lazy to shave my pits right now. I don't want to shave my pits right now. It's a hassle. I get ingrown hairs. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. And so I didn't. I just wore a dress that covered it up. And by the way, I do not flash these around. Like most people don't know that I have these. Um, so that turned into No Shave November. No Shave November was kind of a thing. My cousin was growing out his beard for like a year and a half. And I was like, I'm just gonna grow out my pits because uh, I can and I have a right to. Hi phone, do you wanna hear me talk about my pits? So that was No Shave November and that turned into Dye Your Armpit Hair Purple December. Um, I have a good friend Haley who inspires me in many different ways. Um, she was telling me, she's like, I've always wanted to dye my armpit hair purple and I never even considered that. I never even thought of that. And I was like, hey, that's a great idea. So it was two in the morning, we went to Target, pushed each other around in shopping carts with my friend Dylan, who I met because of YouTube in Seattle. Um, so Dylan and I are YouTube buddies, and through him I met Haley, and so we all went to Target, bought some purple armpit hair dye, and at two in the morning woke up my mom dyeing our armpit hair purple. And nobody knew about it, like I didn't tell people, um, it was just kind of this liberating thing like, you know what? I am taking a stance to make my own choices. I am not listening or searching for society's acceptance um, in order for me to kind of embrace this, you know? And I think that it helped that I had Dylan, who has armpit hair, and Haley, who had armpit hair, saying, you know what, it's okay for you. Yes, this is your job. Yes, you're in the modeling industry. I was kind of taking a break. So at that time, I wasn't doing a bunch of photo shoots and it didn't get in the way of my work. Um, and like I said, no one really knew about it. And it just was kind of this thing. And you know, at first it was great because it was really low maintenance. I wasn't sweating more. And now, you know, it's gotten to the point where it's like, I do have to shampoo and condition it. I do take more care hygienically just because I have to. Um, it is a little bit more difficult. And I'm at this point where, you know what? Uh, maybe I want to get rid of it. Maybe I'll keep it a little bit longer. I don't know. But really, like, it's a thing for me. Just because I'm female 
Does that mean I can't embrace these primitive, primal things that are supposed to be a part of us that we choose to let either media or society or other people or convenience say that we need to get rid of? Like leg hair, my mom has always had leg hair. Even when I was younger, she would sit there and joke about braiding her leg hair. So I grew up, my mom's kind of a tomboy, but I grew up with this influence of this is body hair, why is it so bad? You know, and I remember um, when I was actually hitting puberty, um, going swimming with a couple of my friends, and I had never really shaved down there, and I guess everyone else had, but I was super under-sexualized and always have been. And, you know, so all of these other people, like, looked normal in their swimsuits, when really I was looking primitively normal. And it was, like, really embarrassing, because people were pointing at me and laughing, and I was just like, I'm here at a swim party, I didn't know that this was expected, like, all these things, and it's just like, wow, look at what society asks us to do. And if you do shave your armpit hair, is that bad? Absolutely not. If you choose not to, is that bad? Absolutely not. It's just literally a primitive, natural thing that happens for whatever reason. And if it's easier for you to not shave it, then don't do it. Um, and so that's like what it is. And I just wanted to have a talk about that because I think that society has influenced so much of what I do that it's almost sad. And I didn't realize what a heartbroken person that I've been for so long who looks for other people for acceptance. Just like my septum ring. Um, I told you guys um, in a video that I've wanted this for over 10 years. Never did it because of society. And finally, because society kind of opened up to the idea, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna face my fears. And I'm just gonna get it. And it's just like, you know what? Why is it so bad to live for me? Why is it so bad if this doesn't hurt anybody else, if this doesn't bother anybody else? If this isn't bothering you, as long as you can't smell it, half the time you can't even see it because I'm wearing long sleeve shirts, why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why can't I do what makes me happy? Does this mean I'm less of an attractive person? Does this mean that my personality isn't as good? Does this mean that I'm a radical extremist? Like, why do we put all of these labels on simple things, including biological things? Would you ever grow out your armpit hair if you're a female? If you're a guy, do you wax, do you shave, do you just let it go? Like, what do you do and why? What does that influence? Is it just natural habit? It's just what you were brought up to do? Like, tell me, um, because I think it's fascinating. And you know, there are cultures out there that don't bother with it at all, which I think is beautiful in its own way. So yeah, that's what's up. But I really cannot wait to see um, what you have to say in the comments, because I feel like this is a stomping ground for me that's a little bit new, because I'm like, wow, it's OK to be OK with myself. and. Um, I just want to know if other people have ever struggled with that because I've learned through YouTube that my struggles do not make me alone, even though I feel so alone with them. And acne was my first big lesson in that. So here you go. So I have not seen that footage since I filmed it two years ago. I'm editing it now. Um, but that's what was in that footage from this other experience that I had without shaving my armpits. So guys, uh, I just wanted to have this heart to heart with you and tell you, first off, happy December. It's the end of No Shave November. And guess what? I kept a little secret from y'all. Um, I didn't shave. And this is what I am taking from that at this point in my life. So I wanna know what's the longest you've gone without shaving intentionally or non-intentionally? How do you feel about this in general? Are you a guy or a girl? Um, or are you somewhere in between? Like, what do you identify as? And how do you feel about this topic? Because I'm getting to the point where like, maybe like the teenage rebel is just coming at me and I'm just like, why does it matter? There are so many more important things that I could be doing on a daily basis and so many more important things that are going on in the world right now than me worrying about if I've got stubble or armpit hair. And um, I don't wanna buy expensive razors that test on animals that literally give me big, red, bumpy rashes every single day in the shower. Anyways, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Along with my armpit hair. It's also funny. Like, I kind of like show it off to my friends and it makes them laugh and they're like, oh, Cassandra's crazy, that's why we love her. I don't know, I don't know guys. Um, but that is what it is. I love you. I hope that you enjoyed this video or it just gave you some insight as to how I've been feeling. And I really can't wait to see what you've got to say in them comments. I love you guys. Remember, it is always you that puts the you in beautiful. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye. I think we should wax the cat. Yes, no, maybe so. Let's go, kitty. Just this time. <laughs>